Hey guys, I thought I'd bring you a mod review on this game, Euro Truck Simulator 2. I've been playing this game quite a lot the last couple of weeks. Um, surprisingly, it's very addictive for what it is. Um, and I've been looking at all the mods that have been coming out and all the videos of all the mods that are out there, you know, trying to find the best ones. And uh, I found this one, which, if you're new to the game, is a very good way of starting your own company on it, as it's a pretty powerful truck. Um, it's the MAN TGA XXL. Try saying that when you've had a few beers. Uh, you can pick it up from the dealership in Berlin, I believe. Let's just have a quick look in the store. When it loads, as you see, I'm running pro mods. So I've just recently downloaded this mod. I haven't even ventured into the area where the Pro Mods map starts and the standard map finishes. But yeah, here we are in the German MAN dealer. You see, you've got the standard trucks. I haven't quite reached that one yet. I did have a higher level profile, but I had a major hard drive failure and I lost it all, and it was easier to start again. But here it is, the MAN TGA XXL, straight out of the box, 540 horsepower, 2500 newton meters of torque, which is very good, means it can pretty much pull anything. Um, comes with the ZF AS Tronic R gearbox, the fuel tank carries 1250 liters, which is pretty good, um, and brand new, it's only 10,400. 24 pounds, I'm not sure what that is in the euros um, but oh, the good thing about this mod sorry, is when you go to customize configuration everything's pretty much unlocked for it so you can change the cab to XLX or XXL me, me personally I have it on the XLX so you can change the chassis in this configuration it's pretty good um, does struggle a little bit with the heavier load, especially if you're running heavy load mod packs. Um, me personally, I used a six by two by four because this truck, its turning is its biggest downside. Its turn circle is very poor and it is very slow to react. So what I normally do is I just stick it on this, and uh, it seems to handle pretty well. It's pretty smooth reversing when you stick it on this configuration as well. You can pretty much swing any trailer into the bay. Engine wise, it comes with 540 horsepower, but for an extra 1500, you can get a 680 horsepower engine with 3000 newton meters. That engine will pull anything, doesn't matter what it weighs. I've pulled 70 ton trains with this truck and it's just breezed it. Um, obviously, you've got the best gearbox fitted as standard, it is only in left hand drive, and the interior is well unique let's put it that way if you like dolphins this is the truck for you um, the other thing about this truck is when you're actually playing when you stop you can swing the camera around and get into the back and sit on the bunk which is I think that's pretty cool it's a nice little touch the seat covers are well they look like a standard bus to be honest and uh, I'm not digging this you know the old fake wood dashboard color wise the basic colors You've got the uh, night blue, which looks pretty good. The red, again, pretty nice. The yellow, this looks terrible. The grey, nah. Well, me personally, I like the V8 black. Because also, the other thing about this truck is when you stick the lights on, these come on. Um, and then you've got your crystal white, which doesn't look too bad actually. Um, again, with the accessories for you can put in your truck because it is a mod truck most of it is unlocked so you can stick your warning lights on the top and the light racks um, unfortunately I haven't unlocked a lot of stuff because I've started again but I can give you the gist um, so obviously you got your, you can put your stock man uh, uh, get my words right in a minute <coughs> sun strip which obviously just puts the M MAN logo on it and yeah, uh, I don't 
know if you can get chrome mirrors for it. I'm guessing you can, but I just haven't got that far at the moment. Um, obviously, you can change your wheels. You get the TGA wheels, which on this truck they look pretty good. If you stick them on the other MAN trucks, they look kind of silly. Um, I'm guessing the guy that made this was from Poland. Let's have a look. Yes. <laughs> and then obviously, you know, you can change your wheels, change your configuration paints. Um, and the accessories on the inside. The only thing I've found so far is you can stick all that lot in the window, which I don't know why you would do that because it ruined visibility. So I'm going to back out of this and get us a load because I've already got this truck, so I'm not going to buy this one. And I'll come back to the video when we select a load. Okay, guys, so this is my truck that I've made from uh, the options in the dealership. So I've just got basic has a warning light on the top or beacon strip, whatever you want to call it. I've just gone for the extra turning axle and uh, painted it black. Um, obviously, you know, in the dark it looks pretty sweet. And on the inside, what I was saying about the cabin was you can do this. We sleep on your dolphin bunk bed. But yeah, like I said, if if you like dolphins, this is a truck for you. But I'm not too keen on dolphins, so I'm gonna find a load. So let's see what we've got going. I'll try and find a nice little quick like shuttle run load for it. So we're in Cambridge. Anywhere local, Cambridge to London, chickens 19 tons, that's a lot of chickens. Let's find an interesting load. I am running um, the heavy load mods, I'll put the descriptions or the links to the mods that I use in the description below. I'm also using real physics as well, which makes it kind of interesting. But we'll take... We'll take the chickens to London. No, I am using a Xbox controller. I don't have a steering wheel anymore. It would help put the handbrake off. So, what's oh, what's which set now on? This truck is compatible with uh, 1.9. I've been playing with uh, patch 1.9 in this, and I haven't had any problems yet. As you can see, the turning circles runs a little bit wide on the roundabouts. Let's get in the right lane. I'm guessing this is. It's in here. We got to go. Nope. It's in there. Let's just quickly stop. No, this is the wrong yard. Okay. Unless I missed that job time. I'm sure it was this yard it told me to go to. Have a quick look. Like Cambridge. Well, uh, take that to Audi. Which is a close one. I will take that. Wood shavings. I think I'm already in the yard. Okay, I click wood shavings, but apparently we're taking. So we're taking cement. Let's just see where the load is. Just there.
Gone a little bit quick, need to slow down a bit. Let's get going. I am liking the new AI mod improvements in this game now. You haven't got to worry about suicidal cars just deciding to pull out on you. Now you just have the what I call the arsehole drivers, which is kind of like real life. Usually driving BMWs or Range Rovers don't let you out and cut you up all the time. So yeah, they've nailed that down. Let's give this a wide berth because the trail is quite long. Make sure I'm in the right lane for the roundabout. As you can see, I've got the 620 horsepower engine in this, and it's like I'm not towing anything. There, Mr. Van Driver. Switch off, there we go. Set the cruise control on. Speed cameras, I wish were painted bright yellow and then called safety cameras because you know they're not there to catch you speeding, they're there for your safety, according to the government. Am I going to need to do a rest stop on this journey? Five hours. Oh yeah, no. Tell a lie, no. I have got the truck's uh, limiter activated, so I can't go over 55. Um, I find with the limiter off, I get myself into situations where I think I'm uh, going slower than I actually am, and flip the trucks. Hopefully, on this one, I shouldn't have any accidents, but you never know with Euro truck. Make sure I'm in the right lane, give it a nice wide berth. Use as much of the road as I can. And it's late at night in the game, so there's not much traffic on the roads. Yep. That lane's clear. Do a quick outside look at this truck. It does look good with those lights in the uh, grill. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's chugging along quite happily. So this time driving all over the place. Let's go back to cockpit view before I have a crash. As you can see, this slight hill here, it's just chugging along, quite happy. Trailer staying pretty smooth as well. I'm, I, I was fearing that it was going to be one of those trailers that bounces all over the place, and but this one seems to be behaving itself. A little bit of a wobble there. Let me just quickly check my map, see how far we got until we get to the. Uh, well, we're going to the ferry. Oh no, we're going to the channel tunnel. Yeah, we're going to the tunnel. It's a little bit of a drive. This game's very pretty. I wish when I record I could put it on maximum settings, but my machine uh, <laughs> just doesn't let me. Only certain games I can run on high and record at the same time. This is falling into the same category as the armor games where as soon as I hit record I lose pretty much half of my frames. Stick the old main beams on, there's no one about. We're coming up at this junction. Yes we are. I 
I'm loving this pro mod. Just the detail they've gone into is incredible. You know, they, SCS could have bought the rights to this mod and released it as probably an official DLC. Same with the TSM map. The TSM map is a good map as well. It's just it's got some far-fetched things happening in it, so kind of puts you off if you want to go for the ultimate realism. But this mod is just amazing. I'm looking forward to the future updates for this mod that they said they're going to add. I believe Ireland and France and Spain and Italy and all that. That's going to be amazing. Seamus is a night drive. Wow, I cannot believe that I'm pretty much the only person on the road. Me and a looks like a Honda Civic. Not Honda Civic, Honda Accord. Hopefully the trip in the Eurostar will count as a rest because uh, as you can see my little bed marker is starting to go blue so I'm getting close to needing a rest stop. Why well, have I got my main beams on when the lights the road's lit? Right. Croydon and Dover, here we come. There you go, typical Range Rover driver, middle lane, hogging it all. Thinks they own the road when all they're doing is driving the Chelsea tractor. Going to the left here, so. What's that dude carrying? Like a digger of some kind. Mm. Oh no, he's carrying two steamrollers. Do I have my beacons on? Yeah, we'll leave them on. Looks good. So I love the way they've fixed junctions and made the junctions on this game more realistic. I'll take this guy the first opportunity I can get. Come on, trap. Come on. Oh, this is so unfair. If I had a manual gearbox, I could have done this guy, but <laughs> I've just got to wait for the computer to realize to change gears and build up speed. But here we go. Oh, yeah, we're motoring now. What's he driving? Scania? Yeah. People are probably gasp, but I'm not too keen on that truck in this game. I find it like a transit van, just boring. It's one of those vehicles you buy just to get the job done. I like trucks that give you a bit of excitement, try and kill you every now and then. Don't get me wrong, the Scania is a very good truck in this game. It's just not as interesting as say a 600 horsepower Mercedes or a 2000 horsepower Volvo it's <laughs> I like my trucks that um, yeah try to try to kill me every now and then and so we're merging lanes we'll just quickly check the map see how far we've got to go we've got the A2 and the A20 
I think what I'll do here is I'll uh, skip this bit until I get to the actual drop off point because there's not a lot happening really so I'll bring it back when I'm uh, in France okay so we're in France now um, not a lot happened on the way to the Eurostar so let's uh, pick up where we left off and get this cement to wherever it's got to go feel sorry for those guys now they're gonna get off I don't know Oh, she's struggling a little bit up this ramp. Not too bad though. Just got to remember to drive on the opposite side of the road now. Just a bit of a wide berth. I don't want to catch the trailer. So the old main beams on. I've never seen the game with this amount of traffic. Like, there's hardly any cars about. Usually, when I come off the ferry or the tunnel, you get at least, you know, trucks and the occasional car driving around, but this is dead. Alright, 50 kilometers an hour, that I believe is about 30 miles. Oh, shit. Oh, that didn't go well. Now teach me for not concentrating. Just quickly check the damage situation. Oh, the truck took the brunt of it. That's all right. Rather, the truck took the beating than the trailer. All right, Calais and Paris. Turn the main beams off. I turn the hazard beakers off as well. Or well, beacon, sorry. Don't really need them for this kind of load. Slow down, is this guy gonna let me out? No, because I was too far away. I think in real life back there, this truck would have been on its side and that was it. Game over, cement everywhere. A lot of angry French policemen. I do hope somebody makes like a proper police mod for this game or SCS do something that implements like I don't know just like motorway police random accidents would be good as well just to spice it up especially when you're doing drives like this and you know there's not a lot happening I've just realised I'm getting low on fuel Stop at the next service station. I'm in the wrong lane. There we go. Oh, a French. Is that a toll box? Toll booth, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, going back to this truck, if um, if you are new to the game, um, this is like the perfect truck to just get your company off the ground. You don't get a lot of trading for it, obviously, because it doesn't cost a lot to buy. Um, <coughs> but if you want a truck to uh, get yourself going and being able to tow the heavier loads and build up money fast and plus you don't need to take out a bank loan this is the truck I haven't come across one yet there probably is other trucks that are just as good and around the same price um, but so far this is the only one I've found that in a good you know price bracket that hello officer um, you know you can get after say doing six or seven company runs I need to get diesel. 
And some people could say, you know, it's classed as cheating. Oh shit, I need to go up there. Um, some people could say it's classed as cheating using a truck like this because obviously it gives you a a very big advantage. But I see it as, you know, doing your homework and if you're setting up your own truck company, finding a cheap truck that can do the job. And then obviously once you've had this a while, you can um, you can build up your fleet to I don't know better MAN Scanyas, DAFs, Ivacos, and if you're really silly, you can get yourself a fleet of Renaults. I have tried the Renault trucks in this game, and I can understand why certain large YouTubers absolutely hate them. They are just gutless wonders, but this, thankfully, is a thousand times better than any Renault in the game. Plus, MAN trucks are pretty cool, in my opinion. Many, many, many moons ago, I actually got to shunt these around the yard in one of my first jobs. I believe it was the F2000 style MAN truck so this is going back a long time probably 97, 98 maybe even 99 so technically I learnt to drive or the basics of driving in an MAN truck that's maybe why you know kinda like the, the brand Obviously, driving in real life is totally different to the, any video game. Now, this game does kind of uh, simulate driving very, very well. It kind of tricks your brain into thinking you're actually driving the vehicle. For those of you that play this game, you'll un you'll understand what I mean when you come into a junction and a car pulls out and you feel your rear end start to pucker when you slam the brakes on, stick the engine brake on, and just pray to God you don't hit anything. It's one of those games that's very relaxing but very stressful at the same time. Relaxing where you can just stick the in-game radio on, find a radio station you like and just cruise around Europe dropping loads off and making money for your company. It's also very stressful where you know you get AI drivers cut you up and... Oh, my guy's getting tired where AI drivers cut you up or crash into you and you know that's that's the stressful part this game kinda needs like an update where you have like insurance where if you get hit it's not your fault and you don't get charged because it's happened to me countless times where I've been driving along and somebody's just clipped the trailer and yeah you get fined for it which I think is wrong because they hit you and in I think pretty much every country the car that hits the other car is in the wrong doesn't matter what the vehicle in front's doing, if you hit it, if you hit it, you didn't have control of your vehicle. So this game kind of needs to implement some kind of insurance or awareness of like collisions. Because this this current system of you ding anything or you get clipped by anything and you get charged. 320 pounds you know I understand if you hit somebody yeah I think you should get charged more because you're you know using a truck and if you hit a car you should get charged a lot of money for hitting them but if you get somebody just graze the side of your trailer doesn't do any damage whatsoever you don't even feel it you shouldn't get charged three four hundred pounds for that All right so we're 59 minutes away and I need, ah, it's going to be close but we should be able to do it as long as I don't get lost though I am fighting the urge to turn the limiter off but I don't want to crash again plus I can see the destination on the GPS those of you that have noticed the cars drive around you see that there are police cars driving around they're basically just a cosmetic mod that I found on one of the uh, mod forums Oh, some mod site, sorry. They don't actually do anything. I've tried to get them to, you know, come after me by giving them a little nudge. But now they're just standard cars with um, lights on top that don't actually do anything, which is a shame, really. But it does add some um, 
I believe it's DHL trucks and other brand name courier vehicles, which is kind of cool. Alright, let's do this properly this time. Let's pull into the lorry one. Oh, I always stop just a little bit too short. So, let's get going. <clears throat> 27 miles. Just the old indicator on. Uh, you're in the wrong country, buddy. You're a traffic womble. You shouldn't be in this country. You should be closing down lanes on the M6 because someone's indicator fell off. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not too keen on these uh, highway agency patrol vehicles that literally just shut roads down for no reason whatsoever. Literally, you could scrape your bumper on a weed on the motorways in the UK, and these guys appear out of no way, nowhere and close every lane down. You know, have to get the old traffic police to slow the traffic down for them while they inspect the damage so it's just another pointless exercise by the government to you know take away the power from the police and say that the, it's cheaper to have them than the police force which I think is totally rubbish but that's my opinion ninety kilometers per hour that's about sixty I believe yeah. Oh, 70, so. Oh, I wish I could convert this faster. I'll just sit behind this guy and see what he does. Or any. Oh. Ouch. Again, not concentrating. Oh, now what am I getting? Uh oh. Oh, we damaged the trailer. Not good. Uh, traffic Womble. Might need your help in a minute. Do you want to close the lane down? You know, I stalled. Not going left here. Oh, nice. For once, the lights are on my side. Hopefully, this should just be a quick swing in and drop off. Sod it, I'm going for it, it's on amber. <laughs> oh dear. This is going horribly wrong. Where the hell is this drop off point? Three minutes to do a mile. Okay. Speeding. Oh, come on, game. Engine brake, engine brake, stop, 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 stop. Oh, it's a bit close. Oh, green, let's go. Going straight over here, yep. Watch that trailer, it's got a habit of kicking out now. I don't think we're going to get a perfect delivery. Especially with all these traffic lights against us. Oh, I knew they'd do that, make me stop and then change. That's what we've got going here, I believe. Kind of makes sense, taking cement to a construction site. Go a bit round. There we go. It's the best way to attack this. If I swing all the way around the right and then just swing in there, we should be pretty much lined up. Let's get lined up with the bay.
And of course I got it wrong way when I'm reversing. Come on, swing around. There we go. We're looking okay at the minute. So the trailer walk its own way in and just gently correct it. A little bit opposite lot. So much easier with this extra turning axle. And that should be, yep. Yep. What do we get for that? A good work. <laughs> Not too bad. 2% damage to the trailer. Oh, that's a shame. But yeah, there you go, guys. There's my review of the. Uh, MANTJ XXL. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll try and bring you some more Euro Truck videos because the more I do, the better I get at making them. Um, this is a whole new area of videos for me. So I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.